Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Postgres database, your better auth authentication, so that all of the data about your user can be stored in a Postgres database. Okay, and the process is same for any Postgres database you might want to use, whether that's a local one or something that is hosted online. For example, I'm going to be using Neon for this, which is a Postgres database. Okay, and I'm going to go into my Neon console. Okay, and here is where I'm going to create the database. Okay, and get the connection string. But first, what you need to do is I'm going to remove this. Okay like so okay so first what you need to do is install a package called pg so, okay so to do that just type in the command npm ipg okay press enter now while that is installing let's set up the database so i'm just going to go into this and what i'm going to do is name this okay I'm going to call this better auth db okay and I'm going to keep it on the main branch and I'm going to click create so as you can see I have gotten the connection string all you need to do is copy this okay and now our PG is installed so all you need to do is do new pool and you get this from the PG package you installed it's simple just duplicate this and you need to get the PG package and you need pool from this okay that's it here you just add the connection string now here you can add in your connection string but I am going to do this in a secure way This is what I'm going to call it. I know the name is kind of long, but okay. Here, you just add this and copy this name and add it here. Okay. Now I just save this and I'm gonna save this as well and if everything worked correctly it should work so I'm gonna close let's see into my tables right so I'm already in my better odd DB okay and as you can see I have zero tables in my public schema okay so what you can do here just type in this command npx at better dash auth slash cli at latest and then generate press enter so what this will do is go in look at what database you're using and then generate the schema for that okay so now it's asking me if i want to proceed press y and then enter now it will generate the schema okay so I had to start this over again it ended up causing some kind of error but I basically just ran the same command then it gave me this I just pressed Y here okay it gives you the option to press Y for yes and N for no I pressed Y it, then it just completed 
and it generated this okay so this is what it gave me okay and right now if I show you you can see that there is nothing in my schema here in my database so now you just need to type in the same command just change generate to migrate okay press enter as you can see it's asking me to press Y or N so I'm just gonna press Y and as you can see it's saying successful okay so let me just go in refresh this and as you can see I have all of these okay but there is nothing in any of these so now let's try and sign up a user okay so demo demo at example.com and then password okay and then I'm gonna just sign up so let's see okay nothing is added yet let's wait a little bit longer as you can see the user is added and all of the information according to the user is added here okay and if I try to log in with this user so let's try logging in and I'm gonna use the console log to see this if I'm logged in or not the reason for that is I haven't set up the whole application okay so this is just to give you an idea of whether we can log in or not when we see the on success that's when we'll know if we have logged in or not yes we have we are seeing the on success okay and as you can see the token has been generated the user is logged in okay and all of this stuff has been done so you can set up a redirect as well I'll show you in another tutorial how to do that also to how to check whether your user is logged in or not all of that stuff in another tutorial so I hope you liked this tutorial like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest tutorials and I'll see you in the next one bye